up, Little Jerusalem fans. I'm Ashley Hankins, and this is a special episode of Carpool Karaoke for International Women's Day. Okay, so Ashley, okay. as we celebrate the International Women's Day, mm -hmm. we all know that basketball players sacrifice so much to play overseas. But what it, does it mean for the players' partners, for the wives? Uh -huh. How do you cope with uh, being away from home, friends? Yeah. Gosh, we sacrifice so much to be here. We a lot of times don't have careers anymore. I actually worked when we first got here. I had, you know, a sales career, a job that I really loved. I loved doing it, but um, moving to Israel, the company I was working for just didn't didn't have business here, and so they told me I could no longer work here. Um, so yeah, I, I now do not have a career. My, my sole job is to take care of Zach and help him and help his career thrive. But it is, it's really hard, it's tough, it's coping with being away from family that I'm, I'm very close to my family and Zach's very close to his family and being away from them and just having each other is difficult. Okay, so we know you played college basketball as well yes. in the same college as Zach. This uh -huh. is how you met. Mm -hmm. I played Tell there. us about you, Ashley as a player. <laughs> Ashley as a player was fun. She was energetic. She loved the game. She's a way better shooter than Zach is. Oh, oh. <laughs> Do you think Ashley the player could have managed to play with coach Jicket? <laughs> I could have, yes. I, I play well under coaches like him that just kind of are sarcastic and um, can, can kind of pull a lot out of you. Um, I don't know if I could have done it for a whole season. He might have made me cry a couple times. But <laughs> <laughs> so speaking of coach, we all mm -hmm. saw the, the thing with the Paul Tel Aviv game when he called you up yeah. and you discussed something. We're not, we're not going to discuss <laughs> uh -huh. what you talked about. Right. This is between you, you and him. Mm -hmm. But you have some kind of you and Zach have a close relationship with coach mm -hmm. tell us about it a little bit before I got here um, you know coach was really trying to bond with the players get to know them as a person and, and all that and so when I got here I already you know loved coach just because he's my husband's basketball coach um, if Zach's not with me he's with him so yeah. that's pretty much like a second wife <laughs> yeah like a second <laughs> wife almost um, oh that's I mean if he's gonna sit in it I'm gonna <laughs> call him a second wife wow, yeah, I'm in can, trouble you can cut your part out of it and just say <laughs> I said it okay so we know basketball is a originally it's a man's world mm -hmm. how do you fit in how do you cope with like the environment? I think a lot of people don't realize like it's not a job you can just leave at work. It's really stressful off the court as well. And so I think my role in this season of basketball is really just being that support and being that, hey, like it's fine. Let's pick it up the next game. Let's move on. Let's, you know, here's some time for you to rest and watch film and I'll take care of this. I'll take the dog out, whatever it is. Um, but I think there's a space for women in all sports and we figure it out and adapt maybe better than sometimes men do in my opinion and so okay i guess people already told you about your resemblance to a famous pop singer in israel oh. her name is ronnie yes i have heard that have, have you seen the resemblance <laughs> i there's one picture i've found on the internet that i'm like Okay, I see it. Like, in this one specific picture, I see it. But the rest of it, I don't really see it. Three things that we don't know about Zach. Three things that you guys don't know about Zach. All right, so Zach is a huge Star Wars nerd. Something else people may not know about Zach is he actually has a degree in environmental biology. Um, a third thing. Let me think. Okay, Zach actually plays, he's a drummer. He can play the drums. Seriously? Yeah, when we're at home, um, we, we're both big into our faith, we're Christians, and he plays the drums at our church sometimes. Like Itai Segev, he plays the guitar. Oh, Not if we get Ronnie Superstar here, they can wow, you, record something. See, I, I knew I should bring you on board. <laughs> okay, so Ashley, we got to the last part of the, of the mm -hmm. carpool, when you need to pick a song for us. Pick a song. So I would like my song to be Shania Twain, Man, I Feel Like a Woman. Let's go, girls. <laughs> It's my favorite part. <laughs> Come on. I'm going out tonight. I'm feeling all right. Gonna let it all hang out. <laughs> Yeah, I wanna scream and shout. 